Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair Let's Pose, where I show you how to pose your figures like I do in the photos at the end of my reviews. Today I'm going to be posing the new Mafex number 175 Nightwing. As always, let me know in the comments below what figures you'd like to see me pose next. Keep in mind, some figures are easier to get than others, so it may take some time for me to get through everything on the list. And of course, stick around at the end of the video so that we can click on the link to check out the review of this figure as well. But that's enough chair chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna have him throw in a punch for this first pose. Get this right arm pulled out in front of him, utilizing that shoulder rotation. Head facing forward, maybe tilt a little bit. Get his waist twisted, get this back arm bent. This leg bent out, this one straight out. That up a little bit, and the hard part's gonna get the ankles where you want them because you do have to kind of fiddle with the ball at the bottom to twist it and get it the right way you want it to face. But once you do, he should stand just fine. Maybe. Twist this one a little bit. There we go. So yeah, here you have it. He's just throwing a punch. Got that right arm out in front, curved. You can see the shoulders are twisted, so that way they are not parallel with the hips. Got the right leg straight all the way out. And then left leg, we've got it bent in a little bit. He is hunched over. He switch us around so you can see the angle on this arm, about 90 degrees, and pulled back at the shoulder. And then we've got that knee bent just a smidgen. So just a real nice kind of simple punching pose. And then we're going to switch out these hands for the baton holding hands so that we can get him into like a fighting stance. So I really like to utilize the batons because I feel like he uses them a lot when he fights. So let's get those on here. Maybe, come on, there we go. Then we're gonna pull the first baton out, pop that in there. Take the second one out, pop it in like so, maybe, there we go. A lot harder to get those in there when you aren't directly in front of it and you have a camera between you and it. All right, let's get this knee bent. This one straightened out. Get the ankles pivoted this time ahead of time. We're gonna twist his waist here, gonna get the head forward, this arm underneath, and there we go. So if this one, this arm is pulled forward, that leg is slightly bent and off to the side, we've got the arm bent at about 90 degrees, just a little left with the baton under the armpit. The other arm is bent in a little bit more with the baton behind his head. And you can see his, he is twisted, so that shoulder on the left side is pulled forward, so he's not parallel with his hips. And yeah, so that's probably one of my favorite poses to do. And then, he is very acrobatic, you know, he's a circus kid. So we're going to go ahead and have him do some acrobatics here. So let me get these hands switched out here. We're gonna make it look like he's you know bent back, flying through the air, throwing his baton at somebody. Get this knee bent. There we go. Get that left foot forward. That one straight out. Get this arm pulled back, head tilted, like so. And this arm pulled back and pop him on here. And I didn't tighten this ahead of time, so let's see if it's gonna make a fool on me. Uh, there we go. Perfect. So you can see this arm spread out. Uh, oh, the baton's on his back. Never mind. But it makes it look like he's throwing the baton. Got his back arched quite a bit. We've got one knee bent. The other one's just kind of arched a little bit with both of the toes kind of down fall away. And then both arms spread out in almost like a T pose and pulled backwards. This one holding the bat other baton. So it's just kind of a nice little acrobatic pose for Nightwing. And we're going to do another one real quick, which would be more him swinging through the city using that uh, bendy wire for the batons. So let's get this leg straight out. This one bent inward. This arm back. This one back as well. Face it forward. Get him back on here and see. Is this going to balance this way? 
No, so let's go the opposite direction. There we go. And then let's use this handy dandy bendable wire effect. And get this where I want it. Pop that in his hand. And we go. And then we're gonna get this. We're gonna situation this a little bit different, just so you can see it a little better. And there. So now you have him flying through the city. Get this arm pulled back with the bendable wire behind him. That knee bent all the way in, other legs straight out, legs are spread across. He is twisted at the waist and just a smidge, and then also bent the arms are pulled all the way back as well. So yeah, that's a that's a real fun one. Let me get this out here and this last pose is going to utilize those really cool like twirling baton effects that they gave us for the hands. So we're gonna get him kind of straightened down, get those hands on, get that out of there, pop that off, grab this, and there we go. Get the legs kind of spread a little bit. Now I've seen people do this different ways. I just kinda like the one where he's kinda like shrugging. Kinda like just like, hey, what's up? So let's get him facing the way we want. Get these arms, get the wrist twist a little bit. So that way it's practical. And get the ankles where we want them as well. So that way he balances properly. And there you go. Real simple. Get that out of the way. You've got the legs spread. It's facing forward. That arm's just slightly bent. This one's bent in a little more. Both wrists are twisted. He's looking forward. It's just a nice pose to have on your shelf. But that's going to be it for this week's Let's Pose. As always, let me know in the comments below what figures you'd like to see me pose next. Just keep in mind that some figures are easier to get than others. I do appreciate the patience in the meantime till I get through the list. Make sure to click on the link at the end of the video so that you can check out the review of this figure and see the photos I took as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out to hear the channel and also gets you tutorial related content in your feed, including the reviews, the Let's Poses, the live stream, and the podcast. If you'd like to support the channel, if you're a fan of it, you can head to patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair. Link will be in the description below. We have a bunch of different tiers of different rewards. Make sure to check those out. And don't forget to check us out Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at modern toy fair. But hopefully, see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching.